we know how you are feeling and we'll express exactly what you feel mm -hmm. and now let's move on to the second part ladies and gentlemen we move to the next interesting bit now okay. this week Nini Washera, a very good actress, a good friend of mine, said that uh, for all those 20 years she's been in showbiz acting, there's nothing she's earned from it. This reminds me of Omoshi of Taidi Hai asking for help. It reminds me of my good friend Maurice Odumbe, the cricketer, after doing all that. And there are many, many sportsmen and women and people in the art and the industry. Congested. Mustafa the other day couldn't even treat the mother, a very good friend of mine. So it asks, it begs us the question, how do we honor our talent in this country? There's a minister of sports, culture, and all this. But does it actually reach these people? Do we actually ring fence them so that they can survive? Even, let me talk even as a creative myself, as mm. someone who makes content even online and everything, mm. One thing I would even uh, tell even people in the creative industry is this. One thing is that Kenya is just now starting to give due respect to content creation and so on and so forth. You know, what Sherry has been in Sense 8, so many big projects, Netflix movies, so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Even she was mentioning that, um, that her price, she cannot do. The biggest issue that she had even with, uh, with her is because her price is too high for producers here because the producers want to, want to pay a certain amount so that they can actually keep a majority of the funding for themselves. Mm. And what you do have to do even as a creator is this. You have to make the bulk of your money behind the lens or even behind even what is, you actually do as a content creator. Mm. When you're as a content creator, either you now you make your content, yes, you do get your brands every now and then, but to get a bulk of cash, what happens is you get a heavy load of cash one time, but there's a long dry spell in which that money has to be stretched. And in that dry spill, you also have to now remember how am I going to stretch this dollar or how, what am I going to be doing within this dry spell because you're not always going to be on heat. You're not always going to be the person that you actually be caught and actually be chased after. You're not always the hot girl in the streets. Ask any woman who was actually grown up and they will tell you the story. Huh? Man, <laughs> and the thing is... Are you, are, you, are you talking... You know the way... Look at Maria. You see the way Maria and... Uh, Hi. It's the truth. And it's the truth. You are yeah. 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 overstepping his boundary. Yes, yes, yes. You know it. He's touching live wire. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Is it, but is it the truth? Hi. No, but I'm saying you also. No, not just even, look at us. Yes, yeah. yes. And to your no. heart. Uh, uh, yeah, you, so how long do you think? <laughs> But now the main thing is, you need to find, just like even, even let's stick even with that topic, even you need to find another aspect that feeds into, because even what you take pride in even as you know, a grown woman is not the same thing you take pride in as a younger lady. Even as a creator, what you mainly make money from right now, it should also now complement another stream of income. Sadly, that's the reality on the ground, and what you need to realize is, Turn your creative into a business so you, can actually now, so you can actually now feed the market and actually be able to get a constant stream of income rather than relying on this superficial fame that you think that you have, which now should equal a certain amount of payment, which is not always the case. And that's a sad reality. And that's one thing even I would even tell many creatives and people in front of the camera. But you, feel, you know, I feel like it's not a superficial because already the celebrity mentality in Kenya is too high. Like when you are high there, you're, su you're supposed to keep the standard. You can't be a celeb and drive this car. You can't be a celeb and wear these clothes. Like you're supposed to keep a certain standard and the money you are making and the standards you're supposed to live in do not actually match. match. And if they match, it's hard for you to invest for the future because of that. Most of these people were paid well at their time. If you listen to them, like Ngulamoto was a huge project. When Washara did Ngulamoto, it was a huge project. These people are paid well. And that's where when now they start, their fame starts fading, it's high for them to get jobs because now they feel like, I was paid like this. Now, how am I paid? How can I accept this pay? Am I lowering my standards? Forgetting that, when it comes to being a celebrity, you don't, you cannot, that is not something that is lifelong, like you're going to do it forever. And people keep, and we are Kenyans, we know very well that we keep loving different scandals every single day. Today this scandal was interesting, this one will be interesting. And that's why right now for someone to be famous, they chase clout. Mm. They, they don't just do clean content for them to get huge numbers. But someone's rate card mm. should not be defined by their fame. 
Someone's rate card is defined by the work that they have done. But you know, this, wor right. this work is expensive. Remember that if you like me because I live this kind of way, I do this kind of thing. I can be this simple and you like me like I like you then because you do this and this and this. The money you pay me is relevant to my standards right now to live like that. When I go higher, I put, I take my standards high because we are human beings. Now the problem with them is, okay, the, I start with the problem with them. The problem with them is that they don't actually have time to do a side hustle because you're supposed to this content this content and they don't know how to do passive income kind of thing you know like maria would say i maria i do fitness in the morning in the evening my books are in the supermarket so even if i stayed home today you passed by the supermarket and bought my book mm. for them they don't have much passive income or another business set aside for them to say that okay i am doing content creation yes but there's a business of mine that is running that gives me this money Mm. It's they've not and another thing I feel like these people should also be educated about wealth creation savings and all this because I feel like the way we scream when we see them is not giving them the opportunity to know that we are screaming at you for now Nini tomorrow we'll be screaming at Maria the other day okay it's this one we'll be screaming at so we are just like picking and choosing celebrity however we want and let's face it human beings will not focus on you for the rest of their lives we're even trying to survive marriages surely being a, a celebrity, it's hard. What do you think about talent nowadays? Like, uh, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand your, your industry mm -hmm. of uh, celebs and <laughs> content creation. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that's what it's So, so this, pa <laughs> this panel is also a learning panel. Mm -hmm. So I may not comment much on the story of... Mm -hmm. You're calling her who? Mm -hmm. I'm hearing it for the first time here. Okay, Omosha had, Omosha cried so much. Omosha, yes, yeah, so he, that he, one he I had, Congestina so I had. Ah, yes. But, yes. but uh, me, what is in my heart mm -hmm. are the freedom fighters. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you see, the suffering that Washera is suffering today is what uh, the, uh, the ex -mau -mau freedom fighters are suffering today. Mm -hmm. They did so much. They sacrificed so much. They, they, they were displaced. And uh, 60 years down the line, nobody seems, there is nothing to write yeah. home about. So, as we discuss uh, how people should uh, manage change, because uh, my understanding of Washa is that like she has been up there and now she's down here and there is nothing to smile about. Yeah, and, and the, the job she grew up doing so we, we need an overhaul of our value system. We need an overhaul of uh, intergenerational uh, relationships. And uh, we need a, a value system that takes care of people, individuals, uh, and, and, uh, and rewards them for the value they contributed while they were in that space. Because it's a value that has led to many, many lives being transformed today. Because I'm sure even this Washera has inspired very many people. Sure. She has created uh, very many offshoots, and now we have celebs, many celebs that are doing much better than her. So we need a conversation, a value system, that needs to be integrated in our thinking. So we must change the way we think and how we, we treat people who have contributed to value. And years later, they are not in a position to, they are vulnerable, they are struggling, yet there is no system to, to hold them. That's what we need. We have to do a mind, mindset change, shift, and uh, learn from mistakes that we have. I, I, think, I, I think you've captured it pretty well and um, 